Hello everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Today we'll be putting together my February setup and um, it is going to be clue themed if you couldn't already tell. But I just used this brown paper bag as some craft paper since I don't know where to buy craft paper and I haven't been to the store. So anyways, I'm just going to use this paper bag and I have pre-made these clue cards as you can see. I made them with watercolor and cutting out the clue part from one of the cards that I'll show you that I use later. Not a card, but like the little things where you write down your clues. Anyways, so I glued this craft paper to my notebook and then I glued the clue cards on top of it because I thought that looked cute for a cover page. And as you can see, I wrote February where you would usually write the character name on the card. I was thinking about write, drawing a face or something, but I thought it ended up looking better like this because it wasn't super busy. So anyways, there's me gluing the cards to the paper, and then we will move on to the monthly setup. So as you can see, I already made the monthly boxes for the calendar because it took way too long to show in this video, and so I just did it while I was watching a movie. Anyways, so here I'm just gluing them into the paper. You can see that I also took out the Sundays from February to fit it all in because I wanted the boxes to be this size because I have quite a lot that I know I'm going to need to write down since um, I'm closing the Tempest in February, I think, and I just have a lot going on with school. So since I didn't have a ton of things I needed to plan on Sunday and I could do it in my weekly spreads, I decided that I would just make them Monday through Saturday and it fit really well with the size of square I wanted and it looked super satisfying because there were no sticking out numbers, they were all even. So then I just added some black washi tape to add as like labels so I could do the days of the week. Um, I have this black washi tape and I love it and I use it so much but I just cut it in half and so it was a little bit smaller for the labels. And then here I am just writing the labels down so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, the drill. Anyways, and then here's me just painting a little green background because I wanted to add the green color throughout the spreads because it was my theme color for this month. So I just put it behind the word February and behind this little magnifying glass thing I sketched. I didn't draw it like a, like a real magnifying glass. I kind of did it like it looked sketched because I thought that was cute. And then here I am just adding green to my quote that I had penciled out. Um, it's, it, it says, long story short, too late because that's a quote from Clue and I thought it was really funny. Also, white pen has saved me. For this um, <laughs> spread. It, it saves, saves me for every spread, but this spread, it was just extra nice because I kept making mistakes and the white pen was just there to back me up to help me. Also, the white pen looked so good on the craft paper and the black washi tape, as you can see. And then my monthly spread is finished. So next I'm going to move on to my mood tracker and my habit tracker. I'm sorry it's cut off for the beginning, I move it in a minute and then you'll be able to see it better. But I just wanted to add craft paper to the top of it because I thought it looked super cute. And then I added my title on top of that craft paper. Uh, with this spread I was kind of just going for it. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do but I knew the gist because I had the clue cards I wanted to use. and. I knew that I wanted to do a habit tracker and mood tracker and things, so I knew kind of what I was doing, but I was definitely t taking an artistic liberty and just going with it as it came. And so here's me gluing the pieces from the set um, onto the page. I thought they worked super well as habit trackers because they had the perfect amount of boxes. Um, some of them had less boxes, but I thought that was perfect because I'm not going to require myself to work out every single day of the month. So for these specific workout trackers, like the top one is the workout tracker, um, I'm only going to have a goal to fill in all the boxes by the end of the month. It doesn't matter what days they are, but I want to work out that many days in February. And then from here, I just put a piece of tape, masking tape in the middle of my writing so that I could pull it off and do some fancy lettering with it. And then I added a piece of black tape down there that I could draw on as well. And so you can see that I wrote habit for my habit tracker and then tracker on the washi tape. I thought it turned out super cute with the lettering and I was like, oh, why don't I just do it again for my mood tracker? So for my mood tracker, I ended up putting craft paper 
down on the other side so it kind of balanced out the habit tracker and I did the same type of lettering with the same washi tape thing and I thought it looked super cute right next to each other just like that. Also you can see that little thing that says clue that I glued on. That's also what I used for the card at the beginning of the month and I said I'd show you later in the video so here it is. Um, but yeah so I just cut out those letters from the clue tracker playing card thingies that you use during the game. So yeah, I just used that and I thought it looked super awesome. So here I am again just adding the craft paper and I added it to the bottom side like I said before to like balance it out. Uh, for this spread I'm going to be making a mood tracker. Um, I knew what sort of I wanted to do with this originally. I knew that I wanted to make it look like the game board, but I didn't know exactly how I was going to make it look like the game board. And then I had multiple ideas. One of my ideas was that I could track my mood with the colors of the little playing pieces, but I ended up deciding that the little spaces that you move on the board, I would draw 28 of those and then that would work for my February mood tracking because there's only 28 days and the 28 boxes fit perfectly within all the rooms that I drew. Also, these rooms that I'm drawing are just off the top of my head. They're not actually copying the board game or anything. I just tried to draw what I thought would look good and it was easy to draw the straight lines because of the dots, which is one of my favorite things about like normal bullet journals with the dots because the dotted grid makes it so much easier to make things look cool and aesthetically pleasing and like perfect and even though you're not using that much work so anyways you can see right here I'm just testing lots of different things and trying to figure out what I want to do with the boxes but then this is the one that I ended up going with I am also planning to decorate the little rooms that I've made with the boxes but I'm going to do that later and I probably won't show it on YouTube I'll probably just post it on my Instagram when I'm finished and so if you guys want to go follow my Instagram it's McKenna Williams YouTube and there I post all my bullet journal, like, pages, and so you can see stuff that I don't even show in my YouTube videos. I also announce when I post my videos in case you don't see it. And I am also going to start doing pen palling, so all my information for that will be on my Instagram page as well. So then here you can see I'm just inking in where I drew with the pencil. It was nice once I'd drawn all the single boxes to just draw a giant line with the ruler because it was so much faster. And then I also um, heard a tip from someone once where they told me not to turn the ruler and the page so many times by just doing all of the vertical lines first and then doing all the horizontal lines and I used this trick here and it was so nice. Obviously I switched it a few times but it saved me so much time and so much effort and I just thought that was a good tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Here I am just making the key. I wanted to implement my idea of using the little playing pieces as the colors um, and so I decided to use that in my key. Even though I won't be coloring them for my mood, it was a good way to show what colors mean what emotion for this month. I did blue for happy, green for middle ground, and red for sad. And then here is me putting more craft paper on. I wanted to implement craft paper in all my monthly layouts, and so I wanted to find a new creative way to do it for this, since I had already put it on the top and the bottom and middle, and so I just decided to put it on the side like that. I thought it turned out super cute. Also, I didn't need as much space as a whole page for both of these trackers, so I ended up just splitting it in half and using each half for a different thing. My top half of the page was used for my money tracker, and the bottom half of my page was used for my content tracker. So basically I could take care of my expenses and make sure that I know how much money is coming in and how much is going out. And then I also have my content planner so I know what to post on YouTube and Instagram every day and I can write down ideas and things like that. Something very nice about using craft paper and layering and things in your bullet journal is that you can cover up mistakes really easy. Um, there's a lot of times when my marker will bleed through the page, so on the other side of the page I just either cover it up with another piece of white paper that I have from the back of my notebook or 
I add craft paper and make it look all cute and I can cover it up just easy and it doesn't even look like anything happened. So I really like it, it makes things easy. And then here I am just going to put together my first weekly spread. I will be doing the rest of my weekly spreads not on the video and I will post a bunch of pictures of those on Instagram. So you can go check those out if you want. Uh, I had to figure out my spacing, but once did, then it turned out pretty easy for this. I've never done a one-page weekly spread, so it will be interesting to see how much space I really have to write all of my tasks. But when I made this spread, I was surprised by how much space I had to write things down. But since I didn't need to add my gratitude log or my mood tracker or anything to this specific spread, I still had plenty of space to write all my tasks down once I end up using this spread. And then also I added the black washi tape which I've really been loving, especially with my white pen. I think it looks so cute together. But I added my black washi tape and lined them all up and then I wrote the days of the week on those and I thought it turned out very awesome. Here I am going to be writing scripture of the week because I personally am religious and every week I like to choose a scripture to focus on and I thought a great place to put that would be in my bullet journal. So I thought I would do a cute lettering where I do a black stripe in the middle and then I write with white and then black if that makes sense. You'll see in a second what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so if you want to substitute it with something else then you could do a word of a day or a quote of the day or anything like that. Now for my final th flip through, I'll start at the beginning, there's my cover page, and then my monthly setup, and then my habit tracker and my mood tracker, and then my expense tracker and my content planner, and then my first weekly spread. So thank you so much for watching me set up my month of February with my clue theme. I really, really loved how this theme turned out. And I love the movie Clue and the game, so I guess that makes sense. But I was really happy with how the craft paper looked and how the mood tracker and habit tracker and things were set up. And I just really liked how it turned out. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you guys want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.